So this class is especially for those students who have, who have joined to third semester B degree of any branch of VTU under lateral entry. So those who did diploma in any discipline for them, so there is a direct entry for third semester in a VTU, but they have to study two basic mathematics. One is called advanced mathematics one, another is advanced mathematics two in their courses. They have to clear these two subjects before they complete the degree. So here in this class, we shall discuss about this advanced mathematics two. That is, this subject is they are going to study in the fourth semester. So here in this, the entire syllabus is divided into three concepts. One is on three-dimensional solid geometry, another is on vectors and vector calculus, and third is on Laplace transform and its inverse Laplace transform. So three concepts are there. Now we shall discuss the two important concepts. One is vectors and another is Laplace transform. So if you study these two concepts, you can answer nearly 100 or 120 marks questions. So first we shall see what is vectors and another part continuation of this vector calculus. The first you shall start with vectors. So from the basic itself by knowing what in the vectors, how to get a scalar product of two vectors, how to get triple product and some related problems, one 20 mass question will be asked about the basic thing. So first you shall start what is this vector and vector calculus, that is the continuation of this. When two vectors are given, we can find the scalar product as well as vector product. Now, you should know what is the application of this. Question need not be just finding scalar product and vector product. Instead of asking like this, they have asked something else. So where this used, that you should know. One application of this scalar product is, when two vectors are given, to find the angle between these two vectors, we use it. So how to get the angle between two vectors? That must be known. There is a next formula you have to remember. So first you have seen magnitude, next unit vector in the direction of a given vector. The third concept you have studied is what in by scalar product and vector product of two vectors. So all this definition must be remembered. You have seen how to find the velocity and acceleration of a moving particle and component of a velocity and uh, acceleration in the, direct, in the given direction of a vector and also you have seen what in by gradient, what in by a normal vector to surface, that means how to get the normal vector to the given surface, how to get the angle between two surfaces and also how to get that uh, directional derivative of a vector in the given direction of a vector. So this type of concept you have to see. So from this part also, sometimes 120 full, uh, much question will be asked. So let's see some problems how they ask it in the exam. <laughs> see this is asked in 2010, actually fourth question, usually they ask like this. First is a particle, that is the first question for A a particle, a particle moves along a curve, particle moves along the curve x. So like that, it is 20 marks question. So in every question upper, so that third question will be from the basic thing. Second question will be most of the problems from this type of concept. Now, First of all, you should know how to answer the first one. For the first question, a particle moves along the curve. So you have to find only velocity and acceleration. So velocity means you have to get, differentiate that position vector with respect to t. That's all. So first write when a problem of this type is given, what is the position vector? So for the first one, we shall write answer for the first question, the position vector of the curve let vector r equals x into i cap plus y into j cap plus z into k cap. So for unit vectors you have put 
cap on the top. For the vector, you put an arrow mark. B D position vector of the moving particle. Position vector. Now you have to find the derivative of this for velocity. Before that, write x and y, x, y, and z in terms of t. That equals x. What is x here? X is given that it's 1 minus t square. It is 1 minus t square into i cap plus y. y is 1 plus t square plus z. z is 2t minus 5 into k cap. This is what vector r. So first you get vector r here. From this, you shall get the derivatives. First step is I need what the derivative for velocity. Therefore, velocity is how to get velocity is nothing but it is nothing but derivative of r with respect to t, which is equal to d by dt of r. Vector r means your return it is 1 minus t square into i cap plus it is 1 plus t square into j cap plus 2t minus 5 into k cap. <coughs> this is the velocity. You differentiate it. Derivative of 1 minus t square with respect to t. Here i is constant. That remains the same. So derivative 1 is 0 minus derivative of t square is 2t. So this 1 minus derivative 1 is 0, 0 minus 2t. So I get minus 2t into i cap. Derivative of 1 plus t square is derivative of 1 is 0, t square is 2t into, this is constant, constant we always taken outside, so into j cap. So only that coefficient you have to differentiate. Next, derivative of 2t minus 5. Derivative of 2 is 2, t is 2 into derivative of t is 1, derivative of 5 is 0 into k cap. So this is what velocity. So I got velocity equals what is that? Minus 2t into i cap plus 2t into j cap plus 2k cap. Next, we shall get the acceleration. Right? So acceleration means, again, you have to differentiate this. Acceleration is, it is nothing but a. We shall call vector a. It is nothing but it is the derivative of the velocity, d by dt of v. dv by dt is called acceleration. So it is d by dt of v. What is v here? v means your return minus 2t into i cap plus 2t into j cap plus 2k cap. First to differentiate minus 2t with respect to t. So it is minus 2 into derivative of t is 1 it is i cap plus here derivative is 2 into j cap it is derivative of 2 is 0 because it is constant so i got acceleration is equal to minus 2i plus 2j now the question is also asked find velocity and acceleration at t is equal to 1 now you put t is equal to 1 in velocity and acceleration that gives the answer at these two points so next step is we need velocity, the form velocity to the second question, B. What is this B? This question you have to take. Find unit normal to the surface at this point. So before finding unit normal, we have to find what is the normal to the given surface. Given surface. So we have defined the we have seen what is the definition of gradient of a scalar point function. So we have seen if phi represent or phi of x comma y comma z is equal to c is the equation of a surface. We have seen a normal to the surface is nothing but gradient of the scalar point function. That means grad phi. Grad phi means del phi out of phi. So instead of asking grad phi, they ask you to get normal to the given surface. So first you have to find del phi for this function, that's all. So first, you call this function is equal to phi. Let phi equals, what is this? x squared y minus 2xz plus 
y square z to the power 4. Now, instead of taking this c here, because phi of x, y, z is equal to c, it must be the function. Or if you include c, it won't affect the answer, because the derivative of a constant is 0. If you want, you can take to the right hand side. It's not necessary. You can take only phi. Now, get the partial derivatives. Therefore, partial derivative of phi with respect to x, only differentiate partially, that is dou by dou x of phi. Phi means it is x squared y minus 2xy plus 2y squared z to the power 4 minus 10 you have to differentiate. Here, differentiation is partially with respect to x. Partially with respect to x means only with respect to x you have to differentiate. Treat all other variables constant. In the first one, y is constant. When you constant into function is there, I'll take constant outside, y is taken outside, this is taken, then remaining is only x square. You differentiate x square with respect to x. Derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x. Next, in this term, differentiation is with respect to x only. So y is constant, 2 is constant. So you take this 2y outside, derivative of x with respect to x is 1. So no differentiating. Plus, here, this term I have to differentiate with respect to x. Here no x, that means everything is constant. Derivative of a constant is 0. So this is also 0. Derivative of 10 is 0. So we got derivative of 5 with respect to x is, it is y 2x 